Hello, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this ACDC Ultimate 2024 tutorial on how to edit your photo. And we're going to take a photo like this and make it look like this. Let's begin. So here we are, we have our photo of a bird and right away we can see that it's a little bit underexposed. We can tell from just looking at the image itself and we can also see from the histogram here that we've got an awful lot of space here to the right that we're not using. So I'm going to begin almost as always with boosting the exposure until I'm right up against our brightest pixels. If you go too far we're going to clip the highlights and of course if we go too low the image will eventually just sort of fade to black. But somewhere in the middle is right about perfect and we can now see that we've got a great distribution of different tones from our darkest to the brightest and we're using the sort of full range of the photograph. Now the next thing we're going to do is by boosting exposure things are looking just a little bit flat so I'm going to go to tone curves. Now one of the nicest things you can do with tone curves if you're new to this sort of thing is a simple S curve and what we're going to do is we're going to drop a dot in the middle, another dot sort of top middle and then another dot at the bottom and that gives us three dots all together giving us control over the highlights which is the brightest part of the image, the mid-tones and the shadows, the darkest parts of the image. So what I'm going to do is I like to crunch the shadows a little bit. It's not an accurate reflection but it does look a little bit more impressive. I'm going to boost the mid-tones up just a little bit and then I'm going to blast up the high tones a bit and when doing so I want to make sure that at no point am I sort of exceeding uh, the range of the photograph in other words not making the image so bright that it's sort of clipping over the edge. Now at the moment this is perhaps just a little bit overdone so I'm going to grab the shadows again and just sort of lift it up a bit and then sort of play with the mid tones until I get something that my eye likes. Now it's important to say that there is no sort of secret to this it really is about it's a matter of taste um, so if you sort of copy my tone curves and you don't like what you see keep changing them until you do. Now the next big problem with this photo as I see it anyway is too much white space over here and I'd really like to sort of do something about that. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the geometry tab now one of the things we can do is if you are using a compatible camera and lens is we can enable our lens profile and automatically ACDC will rid your photo of sort of chromatic aberration and distortion. Next we're going to go down to crop. Crop frame is already in place and I'm just going to do a sort of a free crop and I'm going to move it down so I kind of get something a little bit tighter sort of creating the illusion that I used a sort of longer lens than I actually did and if we bounce back to the tune we can kind of see what that's looking at so let's have a quick look this was the original image as we started and this is where we're at now now one of the things I would like to do is make this image pop a bit now the traditional way of doing this might be just sort of dial up the saturation and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You can. The only downside is there's nothing selective about it. In other words, you are applying it to the entire photograph. To do a little bit of pop, I find that it's best to sort of apply enhancements sort of independently rather than holistically. That way certain stand out, certain enhancements will stand out from the rest. So I am going to go to the color wheel. Now this is by far one of my favorite tools and what we can do is use our little dropper, sample the part of the image that we wish to boost. In this case I'm going to do some of these feathers and then we can sort of increase this particular color. So in this case I'm doing the saturation while leaving the rest of the image intact. Now if we're getting too much area we can narrow our selection so if we sort of t 
turn this little dial here, you can see the amount of photograph that we're affecting sort of changes until eventually we're sort of doing the entire photograph. In this case, it got it kind of right. And I just really want to sort of do some of the uh, golden areas. Now within the color wheel, we can do a few different adjustments. We've got smoothness, we've got saturation, which is the bit I'm interested in at the moment. We can actually adjust the hue. So if you want to actually change the color of something, you can, but I don't. We have the brightness, so we can basically lift the brightness up. And we've got contrast, which will just sort of create some separation within those colors. And already, I think our bird is looking a little bit better. The next thing I'm going to do is try and make these blues pop a little bit. So we're going to hit the plus here and tell ACDC that we want to keep our last adjustment and begin with a new color. And again, I'm just going to see what looks good. I'm just going to sort of boost the saturation. I could get rid of it. I can kind of increase it. I can add a bit of contrast. It really is just whatever you like. Also, I'm going to do a post crop vignette. Now I quite like this because again, it creates a sort of three dimensional aesthetic. So the irony is we all spend good money on lenses and then just go out and stick a big vignette on our image anyway. But as you can see there at its extreme, uh, we can see what it's doing. That's way too much. We're going to just dial it back a bit. So it's there, but we're not sort of consciously aware of it. We just kind of want it to uh, be there without sort of standing out. Looking at it, I'm unhappy with the amount of blue I've got. I'm going to hit this X here and I'm going to remove that blue. Final thing I'm going to do is a little bit of sharpening. Uh, for me, this is going to be in two steps. I'm just going to boost the overall image clarity a little bit. And then I'm going to go to this detail tab and I'm going to add a little bit of sharpening. Now we have the sharpening radius. The biggest the radius, the more dramatic the sharpening will look, but the more likelihood of creating sort of strange halos, pixelations and artifacts will occur. However, most of the time you can get away with a two or a three and we can sort of click around our bird and make sure that we're not sort of overcooking it. And here I can't see any evidence whatsoever of any sharpening artifacts. However, our image does look a bit better. If we sort of click this little circle here, we can disable our adjustment. So we can kind of see a before and we can see an after. And overall that is looking much better. Now thereabouts, I'm actually starting to think we've more or less got a good result here. Another nice tool that you can use, we can do the Light HQ and on its advanced mode, we can do everything sort of by targeted adjustments, which is to say we use our mouse, we click on the area and if we drag our mouse up, we can actually increase the brightness of certain elements of the photo. This is a really nice tool and definitely one that you should check out. I'm going to leave it just so. And then finally, the white balance. Now this image is perhaps a little bit of cool. I quite like it like that. But if we want to kind of make it a more sunnier day, we can just sort of drag it to the right. So I hope you found that useful. If you would like to try ACDC, uh, ACDC Ultimate 2024, you absolutely can. And there's a link in the description below. Hope that was useful. Have a great day. Bye.